Have you ever been out camping and have the zipper on your sleeping bag break? That's really frustrating. This is my daughter Andrea's sleeping bag and it's been sitting on my closet for four years because the zipper broke on it while she was on a trip. And I'm too cheap to throw it away and it's very expensive to go to a seamstress to have it fixed. And so it sat there until I found the fix and zip. This is an open-ended zipper and it's not permanently closed at the end. And just like on a jacket, you have to attach the two zipper sides in order to zip it up. To use the fix and zip replacement slider, you simply loosen the thumb screw and place one half of it over the zipper and then tighten it down. You place it right at the box. And I would suggest you tighten it all the way down till it's tight. And then when you get it completely tight, back it off about a quarter of a turn. If it's too loose, it won't pull the teeth together. If it's too tight, you won't be able to uh, use the slider. Then insert the pin from the other side of the zipper track into the zipper slider. And now you're ready to start zipping. And there we go. One of the unique things about the Fix and Zip is that it has a place for a pull on both sides. Therefore, when you're in your sleeping bag at night and you're cold, you don't have to get out to unzip it. You can simply use the inside pull. Now, one thing that happens is sometimes you get a fabric caught in your zipper, and that's so frustrating. Now you don't have to tear your uh, object. You just simply loosen the Fix and Zip up, pull the fabric out, and tighten it down again and begin to zip. And there you go. It's simple and easy to fix your zipper.